So hi guys, Matt here with Droid Tech and I hope everyone's staying safe. So right here I have a package which I've been waiting pretty long because of MCO and they have actually delayed the package. But anyway, it's finally here and it is the Insta360 GO. So without further ado, let's cut open the package and get into the unboxing. Alright, I've cracked open the package and you can see right here there is Insta360 GO. The benefit of this camera is that it's very very pocketable. In fact, what I heard was that it's almost the same size as an AirPods Pro case. We will check that out later. And why do you need this camera? I mean, I already have my GoPro Hero 8 right here, but when you have something like this, considering the features of this camera, it can get shots like no other action camera because number one is very straightforward to use number two it doesn't look so awkward as compared to you wearing a chesty with the gopro as you know the gopro is a slightly larger camera compared to the insta360 go so this retails at 699 ringgit at the moment and it's considered very cheap if you compare to the offerings uh, by xiaomi and all but of course those film at 4k i will get more into technical specs later Alright, so let's take a look at the box itself. So you can see Insta360 Go with the size right here. In fact, you can hide behind my thumb. I'll show you that later after I unboxed it. And you can see this, the 20 gram steady cam. So I heard the stabilization is pretty good on this too. So I'm uh, very excited to try that out. I'll be showing you some footage at the end of this video. So do watch until the end. Okay, let's take a look at the side. You can see. There is a sticky base. There's also an easy clip so you can see how they mount it. So the sticky base allows you to stick to any surface. And the easy clip allows you to attach the camera to your backpack. Or you can see this headband as well. So of course, I think this is uh, pretty awkward. But it gives you a very good POV shot of uh, whatever you're shooting. So let's take a look at the right side. You can see magnet pendant. This is what I'm going for actually because I do write e-scooter um, and e-scooters I mean if I mount the GoPro on the handlebar it doesn't really give me a good angle at what I want to shoot so I think this camera would be a good addition to my GoPro and last but not least you also get this pivot stand right here so you can mount it to something like a car window as you can see here for example okay let's take a look at the back you can see flow state stabilization auto editing Hyperlapse, water resistant. It's not waterproof like the GoPro, but it's water resistant. So I heard you can dunk it in for about 30 seconds. And then hands-free and mount anywhere. So you can see right here, it has a lightning port which you can attach to your phone. iPhone, in fact. And there's also a USB cable which you can attach to an Android phone if you don't have an iPhone. All right, so on the bottom, you can see the specs. So it films in 1080p. Of course, it's in a square format. And in post, in the app, you can actually adjust the resolution 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 or whatever resolution they offer. So you can also see the weight is very light below 20 grams and then the dimensions. Alright, so let's get into the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and slice open. So in fact, this is my very first Insta360 camera. I wanted the Insta360 ONE X but I bought my GoPro instead so I don't think I need that camera at the moment. Okay, let's see how do we unbox. So on the bottom we also get a logo that's made for iPhone, iPad and it's also made for Android. So the box is pretty easy to open. Alright, on the front itself we get this quick guide. You can see when powered off, single press you can get a certain shooting mode. You can pause this and read it for yourself. Alright, let's get into the Insta360 GO itself. So you can see it's very small. Very small and lightweight. I really do like it. See at the side is your typical micro USB cable. I wish this was actually USB-C but it is what it is. Okay, what else do we get inside the box? So let me remove this. That's okay, let's take a look. So what do we have inside this box? So inside this box are all the mounts, in fact. Let me take all of them out. So all the box contents are out. Okay, let's take a look at what we have in terms of paperwork. So we have a warranty card and a quick start guide. I mean, this quick start guide is pretty thick, but I bet it's in a couple of languages. Okay, what else do we have? We have a micro USB cable to 
normal USB, USB A. So this is also to charge the case because this is something like your AirPods when you put in the camera, it actually charges the camera as well. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so you can see right here, this is actually the the mount for your backpack. All right, so you also get a mount. So this is a quarter inch thread. So you can uh, probably install it on a tripod or something like that. And it's also magnetic. So on the inside, you get a magnet. So you can put your camera right in here. All right, so right here we have the pendant. So I'll be showing you that in a second. So this is actually the base for this mount. So you can actually just screw it on right here. Very simple. And you, this is actually the sticky base. So you can peel this off and mount it anywhere. Right, so last but not least, we have a very unique cable right here. So this is actually a micro USB to USB-C. This is for Android phones. So you can plug one end to the Insta360 Go. And the USB-C portion, you can actually plug it in to your device. Okay, what else do we get? We get the water resistance rating right here. So you can see. You can pause that and read it for yourself. Alright, so this is another sticky mount. You can see from the back, it's another sticky mount. Which you can actually mount anywhere. And I bet the camera actually sticks on to this. So you can stick it on to a wall or something and then you can stick the camera on. So let's see what else we get in the box. I can see some Insta360 stickers. So you get some Insta360 stickers right here. Alright, so here's the camera. You can see Insta360 Go. Okay, so let's peel this off. Okay, let's compare the size to a GoPro. So if you consider it with the case versus a GoPro Hero 8, it's about the same size. What about the AirPods Pro? So right here, we have the AirPods Pro for size comparison. In fact, it's exactly the same. I mean, I have a case on my AirPods Pro. Slightly taller because of the lightning port. But other than that, it's very, very small. Very pocketable because I know the AirPods Pro they stay in my pocket basically like every time I go out. So it's very, very pocket friendly. You can see the size, very nice. Okay, let's take out the camera. So let me figure out how to take this off. All right, so you actually have to remove this uh, plastic cap. So after taking off the cap, you can see the magnets are very strong. Okay, let me peel off the plastic for the camera. Oh, actually, I don't even have to. I can just slide it out. Put that to the side. You can see this camera is super small. If I put my thumb above it, you can't even see the camera. Very nice. I really like the design. Very lightweight too. Okay, if you compare this with the GoPro, you get my idea. So if you stick this on your chest versus mounting this with the chesty on your chest, it's definitely going to be a big difference because this is something that people are going to definitely notice. Whereas this, people might not, not even see it at all because of the size. All right, let's take a look around the camera. You can see the lens right here, Insta360 logo. It's built pretty robust. I do like the build. It's, it feels solid in the hand, in fact, for such a small device. You can see some pins behind because it contacts with the charging case. You can see right here. So what I heard is that if you don't want to charge it, or keep charging and depleting the case. You can actually turn it around and it works as well. Okay, on the bottom, you get this single button which works even though the camera is mounted. If the camera is mounted, you can still press this button right here. So it's pretty good. I mean, the way they designed it. So we also get an Insta360 Go logo at the back. Okay, guys, so right here, we get the provided mounts. But of course, it's not the Apple package. So we don't get the extra stuff which comes with that package. I mean, with the carrying case and stuff. But however, we have the general mounts. So we're going to be testing this out. So you can see right here, this is actually the sticky mount, one of the sticky mounts. So you can see that when I put the camera in, basically it just sticks on. All right, so this is the back mount. So you can see the way they design it. There's a small little indentation here. It will actually press the button. So when you do want to record, you actually don't even have to take out the camera. You can just press it and it will start recording. So it's a neat feature. And we have this other mount, which is basically a mount with the sticky base. So you can just put in your Insta360 Go just like this. Very easy and it's not going to fall out anytime soon. So you have one more mount here. So this is the pendant mount. This is something that I will be really using all the time. So you can take a look at the instructions here. So the pendant has to be inside your shirt so that when the camera attaches, just like that, you can hear the magnets clicking. Super, super strong magnets. This is not going anywhere. 
very very strong magnets all right so that's all for the mounting plates let's get into the app setup all right so now let's try to pair it with my phone so first you need to put the camera back you can see it's already charging and remove the back and plug it into your iPhone so I have an iPhone with the charging case battery case so this actually works with this Insta360 you see right here connect just like that so because I don't have the app installed you can see they actually will bring me into the app store so you can see I have to get the Insta360 Go so I can download it right here right, so while the app is downloading I also forgot to mention that this camera has only 8 gigs of storage there's no micro SD card support and I think it's a shame because cameras should have expandable storage not so sure why but I hope they do add it in the second generation of this product alright so we can see that the app is downloaded now let me connect it back again this app is pretty big it's around 200 over MB so definitely want to get it downloaded first as you can see when I plugged it in there's also a small LED indicator right here and the app has opened okay so you can allow this what else location so I'll allow once notifications yes okay let's activate this camera so I bet this also for warranty as well so you can see what is local and what is in the camera so you can see the camera is fresh because I haven't taken any shots yet okay on the bottom here you can see a couple of icons you can see explore there's also album which we saw just now themes I'm not sure what this is and also settings so this is the settings for the Insta360 Go so on the top here we'll be getting the Go button setting so if you click on it you can see what it does you can actually change and customize the settings to your liking and then gyro calibration so you have to unplug and use Bluetooth camera storage you can see how much storage we have remaining so right here we have 6.6 .6 GB of storage remaining you can see video there's 22 minutes photos there's 3737 photos you can also format the storage maybe we should do that let's see how long it takes okay that's it done so you can see format successful all right so download files automatically so i would like that and delete from go after download maybe not but you could do that as well and there's recycle bin trim the fat okay let's see what trim the fat is so your fingers could actually get in the way so you can actually trim that part off so you can get straight into the footage short on watermark maybe not you can clear cache so you can see there's uh, some cache here okay, very fast and as you can see about 360 analyze album files and clear all footage and this is result so probably I'll be doing that quite often all right so that's about it let's see what this button does so these are basic tutorials on how to use the camera and in what scenario all right so that concludes the unboxing of the insta360 go so i'll be showing you some samples with the different mouse right after this video so if you did like this video hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and i will also leave a link in the description on where to purchase the insta360 go so i hope you enjoy the footage and i'll see you guys in the next video